Hi, I'm Jacques Pépin and I'm cooking at home. I'm making steak grandma today, named after Julia, my mother-in-law, who was from Puerto Rico, and uh, love steak with lime or lemon. Usually she used lime, I don't have lime, so I'm using lemon. Some anchovy fillet, some garlic too, and those are the butcher steak. And often this is the skirt steak, which is inside the animal. Uh, this is the oyster steak, like the oyster and the chicken. Or the shoulder steak, the shoulder blade steak, it comes under the name top blade steak, flat iron steak. That probably would be my favorite. So with this, I'm going to put some salt on top of it. This is the one, and this is a skirt steak. And the skirt steak is good too, it's what they use usually for fajita and stuff like this. But uh, my favorite is still this one, if you can find it at the butcher or at the your supermarket. I'm going to put maybe a tablespoon of butter in there and uh, a couple of teaspoons of oil. I'm going to do some lime or in that case lemon rind. Here I have it here which I'm going to put in there. A little piece of lemon that I'm going to squeeze on it at the end. I have garlic here, so two small cloves of garlic, that, and a couple of anchovy filet that I have here, that I'm going to chop with the garlic. Here is my steak, ready to go. Couple of minutes on each side. Here we are here. This is a, a wonderful mixture of garlic and uh, anchovy filet here. I put that in there. And be a good tablespoon of chopped parsley. We'll put that at the end on it. And I want to saute around the steak at the end, maybe a little bit. I have one mushroom here. I don't think we had that in the original recipe, but just happened to have it in my refrigerator. So I'm going to use it. Just chop it coarsely like this. Now let's see my steak here. A beautifully brown. It is better, of course, if you have a chance of letting your meat rest. If it rests a couple of minutes before you serve it, it equalizes the color. Uh, I can touch it like that. The way it bounces back will tell me how cooked it is. You know, raw meat is very mushy. And it starts cooking and it starts bouncing. If at that point it doesn't bounce back, it's just hard, then it's well done. You know, so it's somewhere in between and you get used to it in the kitchen, of course. What I'm going to do is probably put my, my mushroom here. And, and I think it's cooked enough. Me, so I will have it this way. Here it is. Those steaks are about five ounces, small steak, but we don't really use more than that. So here, to deglaze the pan with a bit of juice, I put like a tablespoon of, of water in it. Then I'm gonna put that mixture in it. Just stir it. And that's it. I'm gonna put that on top of my steak. Good. And don't forget a nice squeeze of lime or lemon. Steak grandma. So let me see the inside. And here is to you, Julia. See, it would be about rare like this, the way we like it. Of course, you can cook it longer. I hope you enjoy that. Bon appétit and happy cooking.